back Rochefoucauld co watches and things. An absolute stunner today. Seiko Monster Gen 2 Super Blue Limited Edition. And what a handsome fellow he is. Stainless steel with blue and gold accents. The anodized blue steel bezel. The knurled gold crown and gold tone handset. The sunburst blue dial that just has the angels trumpeting. An absolute beauty, limited edition. Pretty hard to come by these days. Now this one did come in two slightly different iterations. You had the SRP 445 which was the limited edition on the blue rubber strap and then you have the SRP461 of which this is one and that is a numbered limited edition let's just turn it over and you can see that this is number 475 of a 500 piece run super rare these ones don't come up very often at all I'm very lucky to have it as part of my collection. Now I know that I think some of the Zimbi Thailand limited edition ones uh, are limited to 460 odd pieces, uh, which is extremely rare as well. But something of a 500 piece run is, and that is a true limited edition. Uh, you know, if you get if it's limited to 2,000, 3,000 pieces, you know, there are quite a lot of them about these. There's only 499 more of these around in the world um, if they've all survived the last few years. Again, it's those classic Gen 2 specs, 42 and a half, I think, across the bezel. That deeply gouge now bezel for great grip for our 36 really beautiful so let's just lie that one down there you know that I'm a Seiko Monster Gen 2 fan I've said before it's the best watch in the world and if you've had a look at my previous videos you would have seen that I also have the SRP 309 Orange Monster Classic Monster Gen 2. You will have seen on October the 31st my SRP 311 Halloween Monster video and also because I'm a Gen 2 Monster fan I've got the SRP 313 Dracula Monster, those ones are creeping up in value as well. You can see those go for four, five, six hundred pounds on eBay these days, uh, along with the Orange Monster. If you can see one, they're about the same price. The Halloween Monster is um, a bit more affordable, probably 350 these days, 400 maybe. And also, last but not least, for me is the black and orange 
SRP315 with the black bezel and crown. Oh, stainless steel crown. Yeah, because I had a go at changing this one out. I always wondered what it would look like with stainless steel parts, so I changed the crown. You can see the crown still in there. And I changed the bezel as well to a stainless steel bezel. And while it looked fantastic, it didn't have the same action. It was, I couldn't get it to fit properly. So whether I was doing something wrong, whether there's something wrong with a, a bezel gasket or something, I'm not sure. So that's put into storage. Hopefully I can use that again at some time in the future. Uh, I'm always on the lookout for a SRP307, the black Gen 2 monster. Um, holler at me if you've got one for sale, certainly if you're UK based as well. Uh, yes, there is the SRP581 and 583, which are the PVD ones. The 581 is the PVD with blue. The 583 is the PVT with gold. And yeah, you know, the blue one I'd be interested in, not necessarily the gold one, but if I see it for a decent price, who knows? But it's, um, it's Gen 2 Monster Day. The super blue... SRP 461 number 475 for 500 leading the way but they're classic watches I've said before they're the best watches you can buy I hold firm with that one uh, let's try and go out with some of that loom shall we uh, even in the daytime it glows a treat anyway this is Ross Ruko watches and things with the Gen 2 army and I'm out